surprised. Uh, obviously, their uh, backs are against the wall, and uh, they feel it's the best chance to uh, give them a chance to win tomorrow. Uh, so uh, he's had success against us. Uh, I, I feel that just some history and a little bit more familiarity. Uh, you know, I don't know what to expect of uh, his length tomorrow. Obviously, it's contingent upon how he, how he performs, but um, I like the guys we're going to run out there. Fabian, second round on the left. What do you remember about that start that Newcomb had here, and what do you think he really did well uh, just to really keep your guys' bats off balance? Um, I, I think don't – I haven't uh, looked, back to, looked back at the game, but uh, I just recall missing a lot of bats. Um, it was with the fastball. Um, and I, I just think it's one of those things that you just don't know a pitcher and you really don't know the life that it might have. And so it kind of snuck up on us, snuck up on us a little bit. And I, mean, I think he was pitching at 95, 96 the entire day. So um, really dominated us that day. Third round left. When you look at the guys you've added and freeze and, and the way you guys hit lefties, especially in September, do you feel like you're a different team than, than any of the ones that Newcomb had seen as a, as a starter previously? I do, I do. Um, you know, that was just kind of the first part of the season against left-handed pitching. Uh, none of our guys were really swinging the bats. And um, I think September, obviously, with the additions of some players, helped our performance. And also, we started playing better baseball or having better bats against the lefty. So the numbers speak for, speak for themselves. And so, um, you know, depending on how we kind of uh, structure the lineup tomorrow. Um, I still feel good about whoever we're facing, yeah. Camden in the center. Do you expect to use the normal lineup you've been using against left-handed pitchers? Um, there might be a little bit of a, a tweak or two um, because just appreciating the fact that he, he pitched a couple days ago, don't know how long it's going to go. They've got uh, Tehran and Gossman in the pen. You just kind of never want to – expose yourself to uh, a complete line change, um, so something like that. So um, we're, we're not completely set on how we're going to go about it. Back to Fabian. He is also a little bit of a reverse splits guy. Does that also play a role with how you construct your lineup tomorrow? It, it makes it uh, a little bit easier to kind of plug in a, a lefty or two to feel better about it. Um, but he is a guy that has a good curveball. You know, it's a 12 to 6 old school curveball and plus velocity. So, um, you know, looking at our roster, then what what gives us the best chance to take on a good at bat against that guy for one or two at bats? I think that that's the decision I'm going to make. Anything else for Doc? Back to Andy up front. Um, Yaziel had been so effective in September, and you'd commended him a lot for you know being locked in day to day. Are, are you concerned at all that that might the focus might be wavering after what you saw last night? Um, I think Yaziel, he, he's one of those guys that he's just so emotional, and um, he he has a hard time uh, at, at times letting the game come to him, and he tries to uh, at times impose his will on the game. And uh, it gets him into trouble, and and but other times, uh, somehow he comes out on the other side. So, um, but in that situation where you've got Cody in a good spot uh, against a pitcher and stressing him a little bit, and you know to run into an out, and we've talked about that, especially in this situation, you don't want to give outs away. And essentially, he gave an out away, and it kind of flipped Cody's at bat, uh, his mentality during that at bat. So um, we talked about it. Yeah.